Howdy cats and canaries, it's another year and another season, which means another game in the annual series of Formula One. But should you be putting it on your podium or leaving it in your slipstream? Formula 1 2019 by Codemasters once again arrives a whole two months earlier than the last few itinerations' release dates. Perhaps to capitalise on as much of the sports season as possible, and to me, that's a welcome change. When you're in the mood, you're in the mood. Formula 1 2019 delivers what you would expect from a flagship sports game. TV-like presentation, all the correct licensing including brands, names and faces, and the chance to take your own driver to be the best in the world. Last year I mentioned that in the previous six years, Codemasters has developed 19 games, which are all racing titles bar one. We're one year on and Codemasters have developed three more games and yep, you've guessed it, all three are racing. 2019 sees the return of a good thick career mode. Create your driver and take them to the top of the world. A nice little addition this year is starting your career in Formula 2 and we're told that your path is altered depending on the responses you give here and in the races. A great bonus is that the 2019 Formula 2 Championship will be fully playable as a download released later in the year. Best of all, it'll be free. As was the case last year, you can really go to town in career mode if you have the time and the want. As well as spending hours tweaking your car, you can go for multiple practice sessions before qualifying and then the race itself. A new feature for this year is driver transfers, where drivers can move from team to team at the end of the season. Who knows, perhaps even Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel could team up to destroy the competition. Throw in the media interviews and the impressive presentation and you've got a good, healthy, if a little wash, rinse, repeat career mode. Grand Prix is there for your standalone weekend races or your single races and custom multiple races. Of course, there is multiplayer, which I managed to get a few races of this year in before review. And as you can imagine, it's a competitive space, not for the faint of heart. I was glad that I didn't finish last every time, but it was close. I always find it more fun playing against real people, but do bear in mind that not all folk may follow the Formula 1 etiquette you might hope for. As well as ranked and unranked races, there are also leagues where you can compete in seasons with friends and the rest of the world. I didn't get a chance to take part properly, but it looks great for those who like to track their races and could potentially give the game a long life. Box, we're adjusting the strategy. Come in this lap. Understood, stopping this lap. Weekly events are back as well, which are scheduled challenges, which will task you with a different test depending on the current live event. And there's also the usual time trials. It was both fun and challenging to review a yearly title for the second time in a row. Likewise with FIFA, Madden and Gang, there's not that much different. There can't be, not without changing the entire game. Having said that, I think Formula 1 2019 is a bit more than a simple roster update. There's more things to do in career mode than just race, building your car and your personality to your liking is almost a game in itself. 
It keeps getting more and more in depth each year. The press interviews this year are a little more rounded, giving you more choices and thankfully more time to answer them. We're told that this has been the longest development cycle of any Codemasters Formula 1 game and I believe it shows. The game just has that little bit more polish to it. The UI is better, the sound seems better and the graphics are sharper. And I'd say the cars drive a little better too. Once again, they've nailed that nice difference from driving a 2019 Ferrari car to a 1992 Williams car. Simple isn't a reskin. Having said all this, the big question is, is it different enough from last year to warrant you buying it for another year? And I would say yes, but only just. I think the game is a little fresher and shinier and with the inclusion of Formula 2, the game is really starting to come alive. It births a bit of story to the career mode. And while that does teeter off, it's promising for the future. Formula 2 Championship coming as free DLC is another layer to that formula racing pie. I always try to review games in the eyes of the everyday gamer, and one bonus for this year's title is I thought it was a bit more easier to pick up and play. The cars just drive that little more fun in my opinion, and that can only be a good thing. The depth of car construction and development is there for the purists, but if you just want to jump in and race really fast cars, the fun's there for the nearly man. Thanks for watching chaps, please do hit subscribe and keep up to date with all our YouTube activity and catch up with the latest episode of the podcast on your podcast players. For everything else, head to www.thenearlymen.com. Happy trails.